Hi guys, welcome back to Go Together Go Far. In this video, we're gonna be talking about a great suspension upgrade for trucks in 2021. It's the Roadmaster Active Suspension System. We're gonna put this thing to a little test. I got some cool little techie gadgets that are gonna help us do it. Stay with me. Okay, so as I mentioned in the intro, we're gonna be putting this Roadmaster Active Suspension System to the test. So this thing is supposed to work really well in conjunction with a Blue Ox weight con or sway control hitch, um, which you may have seen in some of my other videos, and I'll post links to those throughout this video. What this does is this attaches to the leaf springs on the back of your truck and helps stabilize the truck. It can help uh, on a number of different things. Um, including vehicle handling, general control, uh, and stability, whether you're under a load or not under a load. Uh, if you check out our website, gotogethergofar.com, I've got a multi-page write-up on there that's a little more thorough on exactly what this thing does and why it's a good idea. How are we going to test this? So, since they sent this to me for free, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook up a sensor to the back of my truck. And when I say sensor, I'm talking about this. This is a three-way accelerometer that basically measures movement. And I'm gonna sticky this to the back of my truck and I'm gonna take my truck without this hooked up and go over some speed bumps, right? And kind of measure the impact of that. Then I'm gonna come back, hook up my trailer with my blue ox hitch and do it all again, right? So you should see a different profile. Once that's all done, we'll go ahead and attach these to my truck and then come back and we'll do the whole exercise again. So we'll actually do this four times uh, and we'll be able to compare the movement in the truck and the suspension system to make sure that it, that it actually lives up to, to what it says it can do. So don't forget to check out the description down below. Check out gotogethergofar.com. Uh, if you're gonna buy anything like this, please check out my Amazon affiliate links. I really would appreciate that. And uh, with all that said, let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, so I've got everything hooked up. The accelerometer's hooked up in the back. The Bluetooth is going to the, to the app so I can track it. All the cameras are set up. We're gonna head on down to the park that has these speed bumps that I'm gonna drive over, and let's get some video of it. We're coming up on the park. I'm gonna be turning in here. The Bluetooth accelerometer is going. I don't know if you can see that on camera, otherwise I'll, I'll, I'll cut it in. And uh, let's see how this goes. Coming up over the first speed bump, I'm at 12 miles an hour. Right. We'll go over another one. Hopefully the camera doesn't tip over. Oh, there we go. Got some good movement on that one. Here's another third one. I'll hit this one at 20, 20 miles an hour. That one's a little shakier. And I'll hit this one and try to hit it at 25, which is a little fast for this part. 25. All right. That was speeding. So I won't go that fast anymore, and I certainly won't go that fast once I have the trailer and stuff hooked up. Um, and then here's kind of the final speed bump. All right, so we got some measurements. We're going to head on back to the storage site where I keep the trailer, and uh, we will go ahead and get that thing hooked up, and we'll do this whole thing again. So by the way, if you're unfamiliar with how to hook up and disconnect the Blue Ox hitch safely, I've got some videos that show you exactly how to do it. Uh, I'll post some of those in links and at the end of the video, you can go check those out. So let me get this thing hooked up the rest of the way and we'll go take some more measurements.
Okay, so while we're heading down there, uh, don't forget to check out gotogethergofar.com. So in addition to blogs and content about the videos that you see here, we have a whole additional sections of content or stuff that I don't get a chance to do videos about. Uh, so the stuff that's interesting and relevant to RVers and camping. So make sure you check that out. Go together, gofar.com. So I'm getting ready to turn back into the park here. And uh, the, the one thing that I think we'll notice on the graph is there's, you know, two extra axles now. So when I go over the speed bumps, uh, not only am I, is my truck going to go over it, but the two extra axles are also going to go over it. Uh, so that will create a slightly different profile as well. So here we are, we're going over the very first speed bump. And there's now the other axles. So I definitely will not be hitting these at the same speed. So you will see a lower intensity. Um, but I will try to do the same thing once we actually install the uh, Roadmaster Active Suspension. That, that should give everyone a good view of, here's a second speed bump. It's a bit definitely bouncy on the trailer. So um, that should give everybody a pretty good view and a, a, a ability to look at that with under load and not under load, does this uh, Roadmaster active suspension actually help your suspension? Um, and this is, should be a great upgrade. I, I, really believe this is going to help a lot. So here's the third speed bump. And trailer is now over it. All right. And now we're hitting, I think this is the last speed bump. And, uh, So there we go. Now I just got to get this thing turned around and uh, get it back to the storage area. Okay guys, so we've done two trips, once with just the truck and then once with the truck and the trailer hooked up with the Blue Ox hitch on it. So what I'm gonna go do now is go hook up this uh, active suspension system and that'll be a different video and I'll, I'll put links and stuff so you can see that video as well. Uh, just how easy this thing is supposed to be to hook up. And then what we're going to go do is go back and do that experiment twice more uh, with these things hooked on. And we're going to see what kind of differences we get. And I think you'll be really excited. I've been looking at some of the data as, we, as I've been filming. And uh, I think it's going to be really interesting to look at. So uh, let's go ahead and fast forward a day or two and meet you back here. So through the magic of video editing, we're back. It's been a few days. The Roadmaster Active Suspension System has been installed. Um, if you want to see that installation video, I'll post links here at the end of the video and down in the description, so check that out. I'll put the sensor back in the back of the truck, and let's go out for our third and fourth trip, and then we'll circle back around and compare the data. All right, we're heading out. The camera's recording. I have the sensor going, and uh, let's go check this out. So on our way there, I'll let you know that since I've had this active uh, suspension system installed for a few days, I've been able to drive around on it, so I have a better idea of what it feels like. Now, mostly I've been driving around on it uh, with, with unloaded, which means there's no weight in the truck. And then the generally, with no weight in the truck on normal roads, I don't really feel that big of a difference. Um, you know, I'm not really stressing the suspension system, so that I think that makes sense. Um, so this will be interesting going over these speed bumps to see what it's like with uh, no load on the truck. Um, my suspicion is, is that it basically, you still see the bumps, they're probably just less intense. So we'll see if that's, that's the results. All right, we're turning in now and we're gonna hit the first speed bump. And this one I'm hitting at 20 miles an hour, five miles an hour over the third speed bump. We'll come back and we'll do this again. All right, let's go hook up that trailer. All right, here we go. Here's the first speed bump with the trailer and the Roadmaster active suspension system is installed. Oh, there's the second speed bump. It does feel a lot smoother. I will say I'm not getting as much of the, the kind of bounce and I don't feel the 
porpoising, you know, that, that kind of porpoising effect sometimes that you get. I really don't feel that. Um, and so that definitely seems to be an improvement. Here's the third speed bump. And fourth speed bump. So there you have it. Four trips out, four different measurements. Let's go take a look and see how they compare. All right, so we're gonna finish up by showing you a few slides on how this thing performed. So I'm gonna show you a couple slides on before and after we loaded the Roadmaster active suspension, as well as before and after we had the trailer loaded onto it. So with that said, let's go ahead and take a look at the graphs. So here is speed bump one, no trailer loaded, before and after the RAS. Before the RAS, the Roadmaster active suspension is on the left side. And you're gonna notice three lines. Those are due to the X, Y, and Z access of this little device. I'm not really using the X, Y, and Z access, so I'm not too worried about that. What I'm looking for is the particular pattern that you're seeing in the center here and, and the intensity of that. So to be honest with you, without loading the trailer on this, when the, my truck was not under a load, the differences were not as measurable, right? There's no real heavy duty stress on the suspension system. So it was definitely harder to tell. So there's speed bump one, speed bump two, speed bump three. You can certainly see the pattern is pretty much the same. There may be a little less intensity on the side for the Roadmaster active suspension system on the right side. And I also think the angle of the back of the truck was impacting how close these red and blue lines are together. There's speed bump four and speed bump five. Overall, like I said, you can definitely see a little bit of difference here and there probably some some variation due to speed variation or whatever it is i don't want to make make a big claim about this um, but let's take a look at it with the trailer and i think there are some differences that are worth noting on this so here's speed bump one with the trailer and there's two things that you're going to want to take a look at here one is the order of the lines on the side with the roadmaster active suspension which is the right side here you notice the lines have actually flipped order What's happening here is that the back of my truck hasn't sank down as far as it did without the, the Roadmaster active suspension. And so the lines have actually shifted a little bit. And you'll see that through the rest of these, these slides. The second thing I want you to take a look at is the duration of the bumps in these lines. So where if you notice when it was unloaded, there's a, a big bump and it comes right back down the line. In this case, I'm towing my trailer and as each successive axle hits that bump, I get another bump. And without the Roadmaster Active Suspension, I feel each and every one of those. With the Roadmaster Active Suspension, the intensity of that, that uh, bump is reduced. And you can see it a little better on a couple of these other ones. This is a good example here. Bump number two, I definitely had some intensity for each and every ax axle that hit that speed bump. And while I see it on the graph on the right that has the Roadmaster active suspension, the intensity and the duration is definitely less. And, and that aligns with what I felt when I was driving the truck. Uh, you can see it again here on speed bump three. Speed bump four may be a little less noticeable, um, but you can see it a little bit here on speed bump five. So. In my mind, this helps me understand how this Roadmaster Active Suspension actually helps the suspension system of the truck because this actually helps me understand what I was feeling when I was driving it. It's a real thing. It wasn't just in my head. It's This thing was kind of proving it for me. I hope it's actually going to help you as well. So with all of that said, guys, uh, if this video on the Roadmaster Active Suspension has helped you, do me a favor, click subscribe. Uh, give me a like. This video is a ton of work, and I would really appreciate that. Uh, and I'm going to put these slides on my blog. I have a post there on the Roadmaster Active Suspension. I'll put them there. You can go there, take a look at them, uh, try to validate it yourself. I'll put links on how I got this, and if you guys want to go do that, that would be awesome. I'd love to see some other people do some interesting things with it. So with that said, guys, Thank you. Take a look at my other videos.